Dividend stocks are some of the most exciting ways to invest because anytime you invest in one single share, you're ultimately giving yourself a raise. Why? Because every single month or every single quarter, depending on the fund, they pay you a portion of their profit. So if, for example, they pay 10 cents for every share, if you buy one share, you get 10 cents every quarter. If you buy two shares, you now give yourself another raise of 10 cents to 20 cents. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of money, but as you continue to grow and build up your shares, this could make you a full-time living. Now, in today's video, what we're gonna explore is four top-rated dividend individual stocks for September 2022. It's been such a long time since we've talked dividends, as especially single stock dividends. We talk a lot about ETFs and things like that because they're a little bit more safe than an individual stock. But if you wanna learn more about the ETF version of dividends, I'll include a link down in the description below. Let's get to these four stocks and the requirement has to be that they have some good fundamental analysis and that they have a dividend yield of at least 3.9% or greater. In fact, these dividends have 3.9 all the way up to 7.1% dividend yield. Sounds pretty exciting. Let's get right to it with the first dividend stock on the list, which is Kite Realty Group Trust. Ticker symbol, KRG. Right now going for $19.92 as of the recording of this video and has a dividend yield of 4.43%. They pay quarterly and their last dividend 22 cents per share and the ex-dividend date is October 6th, 2022, with a payout date of October 14th, 2022. You may recognize Kite Realty. This is a REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust, which has requirements on how much they must pay out in distributions and dividends on a consistent and annual basis. But you're gonna recognize Kite Realty from their wide variety of different shopping experiences. This is the group that owns the buildings that make up some of the things such as what you're seeing on the screen right now. How many times have you shopped at an Apple store, an Audi, Michaels? With over 181 different properties, we can see right here on Seeking Alpha at the very bottom of the summary tab that they're expected to continue to grow their revenue in 2022 and 2023 on an annual basis. Now they did have a little bit of a dip as a result of 2019 and 2020, but have recovered with a revenue of $373 million in 2021. You can see the funds from operation has been beating the analyst expectations every single quarter so far in 2021. If we look at this on an annual basis, they do meet or exceed slightly the analyst expectations. Our third on the list is another real estate investment trust, and it's called Regency Centers Corporation, ticker symbol REG, currently going for around $62 a share. Right now, their dividend yield is an impressive 3.94%, with the ex-dividend date of 9-14-2022 at 63 cents per share, paying out on October 4th, 2022. This group owns a variety of different properties throughout a variety of different shopping centers and dining experiences that you're most likely familiar with. Now, if we look here, over the last 10 years, Regency has returned a total of 24%. That's a very good improvement on their overall stock price from 10 years ago. If we come down here to the bottom, you can see their annual revenue, while it did impact in 2020, does have a total revenue of 1.2 billion with an estimate of 1.17 and 1.19 in 2020. 2022 and 2023. They have been beating the analyst expectations from funds from operations, and they have continued to increase their year-over-year -year revenue by 16.4%. Let's move on to the next one, which is not a REIT, but it is an energy company. And that ticker symbol, PSK, otherwise known as Philips 66. This company is an energy manufacturing and logistics company. It operates through four segments, midstreams, chemicals, refining and marketing and specialties. With the focus on energy and manufacturing at the current moment in the year that we're in right now, this could be a potential for some upward swing. They have a nice dividend payout of 4.41% and they pay dividends every single quarter with the very last dividend announced on 8-17, paid out on September 1st, 2020 in the amount of 97 cents per share that you own. This is a little bit more of an expensive stock at $89 per share, but you can see in the last 10 years has returned a total of 91% in its overall stock price. The earnings per share have continued to beat the analyst expectations as you can see here, and their revenue growth has continued year over year at 82% and the three year at 10.34%. And that's primarily driven by the cost of energy going up so much in 21 and 2022. But if you're excited about the idea of a quarterly dividend that pays a nice strong dividend percentage rate, this could be something to do some more research on. Let's talk about the last one, which goes way above that 6%. 
In fact, it has a dividend yield of 7.47%, and that is, yes, it is another REIT, but it is CTO. CTO Realty Growth Incorporated, paying a total of 38 cents per share, and that was paid out on September 30th, 2022. So 38 cents a share, and the beautiful thing is, is the price is only $20.80 as of the recording of this video, which is why that dividend yield is so high at 7.47%. What I really like about this company is fundamentally their revenue continues to grow. As you can see here, despite the pandemic, they have continued to increase their revenue and their funds from operations in the last couple of quarters have absolutely blown away the over overall analyst estimates. Their revenue growth at 30.95% and over the last three years at 38%. So this company is doing strong among the REITs that we reviewed a little bit earlier in today's video. Headquartered in Daytona Beach, Florida, CTO Realty Group is very interesting because these are things that you may have also eaten at or shopped at, such as Capital Grill, Publix, and other shopping communities such as that. Now, again, the reason that we tend to find REITs at the top of our dividends as far as the most percentage yield paid is because a REIT is required to pay a minimum of 90% of its taxable income in the form of those distributions, either quarterly or monthly. Now, in full transparency, I am not invested in any of these four funds at this time, but you never know, I may in the future, so this is not financial advice. I will tell you though, I track all of my dividends over on the dividend tracker. This gives me an opportunity to make sure that I'm continuing my investment growth and my dividend growth strategy. And right now, my dividend yield starting right around 2.73%. Really cool thing about the dividend tracker is if you want to not just look at the four that we reviewed today, but you want to get some other ideas, you can click on ideas and you can actually actually sort this by the dividend yield. So for example, if we want to go all the way to the top, it'll break down all the different stocks, its total grade on the dividend score, and its dividend yield. Now that doesn't mean chase only the top dividend yields. That means look around and try to find one that works best for you. So in this case, you can see there are a lot of REITs right at the top because they typically are going to pay the highest dividend yield based on what I just shared with distributing a minimum of 90% of its taxable income. But if you wanna look at some good things that have a great grade, as well as a good dividend yield, check out the grade. You can see Microsoft, Lowe's, Apple, Home Depot, and then you can do some fundamental analysis and look at the different yields to see if that might be something that you would enjoy in your dividend portfolio. Now you can get the dividend tracker, I'll include a link down in the description below. Now, if you're not a big fan of all these individual stocks, I recommend you check out the exchange traded fund versions, which could pay either quarterly or monthly in the form of a dividend. Check out that video right here and we'll see you over there.